What's going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a chest supported row with an upper back bias. So contrary to the lat bias where our arms are nice and tucked, the upper back bias is going to be where our arms are a little more flared. Uh, John Jewel once told me, believe it or not, if you make a T with your arms, push your shoulders down and drop your arms in, that's a perfect upper back row setup. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make sure the chest pad is adjusted so that we get the full range of motion and the machine's not banging into here and we get a nice deep stretch. We're going to grab these handles right here and something that's contrary to what I say a lot guys is you want your scapula to, scapula to be free moving during this movement so it's not going to be retracted. We really want the, to let that scapula sink in while keeping our head in line with our spine and we are going to row in just like this one, two, three second negative, full stretch, letting that scapula sink down, row in. One, two, three second negative, letting that scapula sink down. Some people even like to somewhat tilt their arms like this, or tilt their hands a little in like this on the movement, um, but your gym may not have this attachment. So again, if you have a normal chest supported row, keep with the straight grip like so. So again, boom. One, two, three, full stretch. And that, guys, is gonna be our upper back bias row.